Jesus Christ. He is the second who preach about the repentance or we, we call it pagsisisi. Okay? Tuloy tayo. After John the Baptist had a prepared the way of the Lord, now after John was arrested, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jesus came into Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. So, nung si John po ay nakulong, no, dahil po sa pangangaral ng pagsisisi, no, praise God, siya po ay nakulong, praise God, but Jesus came into Galilee proclaiming the gospel or teaching the gospel or the good news to every people in the Galilee. Okay? Mark chapter 1 verse 15 And saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. So this is the teaching of Jesus Christ saying ito na Ang panahon ay natupad na. At ang karyan ng Diyos ay nasa aking mga kamay. Magsisi at maniwala sa mabubuting balita or the gospel. Okay? First commandment that comes out in the lips of Christ as to repent. No? Ang unang utos na lumabas po sa bibig ng ating pong Panginoong Iso Kristo ay walang iba kundi ang salitang pagsisisi. Okay? Marina po ba mga kapatid? I hope you understand what I'm saying here. Okay? The lips of Christ is to repent. The first thing that one will do when or he or she really believes is repent. Ang una pong gagawin ng isang tao kung o ng isang lalaki o siya man ay babae, o talagang tunay siya naniniwala sa salita ng Diyos, siya po ay mag sisisi. Okay? This is the first steps towards salvation. Through repentance produce results. It is still in God and others we are sorry and showing our sorry by turning from sin. Ang unang hakbang no, patungo sa tinatawag na kaligtasan ay ang totoong pagsisisi at ang sabi niya, produce result it is still in God and others we are sorry and showing our sorrow by turning from sin. Ang tunay daw na pagsisisi ay resulta niyan, praise God, ay uh, kinoconfess natin, okay, yung ating mga kasalanan sa Diyos at, humu at humihingi po tayo ng kapatawaran at pinapakita po natin dapat kung papaano po tayo uh, tumalikod sa ating pong mga ginagawang pagkakasala. Okay? Praise God. Tuloy tayo. The proof of a true repentance is the fruit it bears. Okay? Ang patunay daw ng totoong pagsisisi ito ay may dalang bunga. Oh, praise God. 
ayon po sa mga gawa. According in Acts chapter 20, reading from verse 26, but declared first to do to those in Damascus, then in Jerusalem and throughout all the region of Judea, and also to the Gentiles, that they should repent and turn to God, performing deeds and keeping with their repentance. <coughs> Praise the Lord. So, tuloy tayo. The third person o yung pangatlong grupo, uh, tao o grupo na nangaral po patungkol sa pagsisisi. The third person or group that preach about repentance. Okay? Ang pangatlong tao or grupo na nangaral po patungkol po sa tinatawag na pagsisisi. Huh? So, ang pag ang pagbabahagi po ng repentance ay hindi po nanggaling kanino mang tao. The repentance it is from the uh, from God commandments. Huh? Praise God. Tuloy tayo. Here we go. In the Bible, who preach the repentance were the disciples. Matter of fact, they were commanded to preach this message. Okay? And Mark, chapter 6, reading from verse 12, So they went out and proclaimed that people should repent when Christ appeared to his disciples after his resurrection. Huh? It's God. Hallelujah. Tuloy tayo. So, sila po ay pumunta roon at sila po ay nangaral sa lahat ng mga tao na si Sa Kristo po. Praise God. Ay nabuhay na muli. Na ibig sabihin ang tao po ay nagkaroon muli ng panibagong pag-asa. Praise God! Hallelujah! So, this is the third person or group that preach about repentance. So, pangatlo na po tayo, mga kapatid ko, yung mga taong uh, nangaral patungkol po sa pagsisisi. Okay? In Luke chapter uh, 24, Reading from verse 47, And that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in His name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. So, the repentance is mass to share or to preach to every people around the world the forgiveness of sin praise God in the name of Jesus Christ oh. at ang pagsisisi at ipangaral sa kanya pangalan ang pagsisisi at magpapatawad ng mga kasalanan sa lahat ng mga bansa magbuhat sa Jerusalem. So, ang kanyang salita ay kailangan po maipangaral. No? At ito po yung ating ginagawa. No? Ay kailangan po maipangaral o kailangan po maibahagi sa tao ang salitang pagsisisi. 
No? If we go back, we study about why we must to repent. Because all people is sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So to, through this uh, uh, sin, God give us another chance through repentance to save us from the eternal destruction. Okay? Through repentance, we can avail the salvation that God gave into all humankind. Okay? Praise God. So, para ma, ma, matanggap niya yung tinatawag ng pagpapatawad ng ating pong Panginoong Isokristo, He must to repent and accept that He is a sinner. Praise God. Na siya po ay makasalanan. No? Praise God. So, because we are all of sin and come short of the glory of God, sapagkat lahat nga tayo ay nagkasala at hindi nakaabot sa kaluwalatian ng Diyos. Tuloy tayo. You are witnesses of these things. No? Kaya nga saksi ng mga, kayo'y mga saksi ng mga bagay na ito. So, kailangan po natin ma-witness kung ano po yung tinatawag na pagsisisi. Pagsisisi is a change of mind to his wrongdoing and change into good doing. Okay? On the day of Pentecost, Apostle Peter responds to the question, What shall we do? Was to repent. Tuloy tayo. Praise God. And Acts chapter 2, reading from 37, when the apostles preaching and teaching about the word of God, and there is the teachings. Now when we heard this day, We prayed in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? No. When the apostles, Apostle Peter's uh, preaching and teaching about what Jesus has done to their lives, no. when they heard this word, They break, no? Ang sabi, they break in their heart. Nangasaktan ng kanilang mga puso at sinabi kay Pedro. No? At sa ibang mga apostol, mga kapatid, ano ang aming gagawin? Ano ang aming? Ano ang gagawin namin? Praise God. So, nung nangaral okay, si Apostol Pedro at ang mga Apostol doon sa Apero napakarami pong nagsisi at nagpabautismo sa pangalan ng Panginoong Iso Kristo. No? Now when they heard this day, we prayed in their hearts and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Ito yung magandang response ng mga tao when they heard the preaching of repentance. Praise God. And this is the answers of the apostles. And then Peter said unto them, No? At sinabi sa kanila ni Pedro, mga sisi At, no? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ 
For the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So, this is the answers of the apostles to that person asking, What must I do to be saved? The first statement here, Apostles Peter declared that people must to repent. That's the number one that people must do is to repent. The second one is must to be baptized. Every one of you, meaning it is individual, it becomes of our salvation. Okay? Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Why we must to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? He said, for the remission of sins. So, meaning, there's a lot of sin that a man need to repent. Okay? Praise God. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We are not going deeper to this because there's another topic about this baptism. Okay? So we will continue. So we are already finished no? for our uh, who preach and who teach the, the repentance. We are going to proceed, mga kapatid ko. All throughout in the New Testament, we see that the first response of man to the gospel is repentance. If you imagine, mga kapatid ko, the New Testament, praise God, people must to hear the word from the Lord through repentance. We'll continue. Repentance is a command from God. A command means to order or to demand with the authority. Jesus Christ demand we first to repent and order to be saved. So, this is the first man to do if he want to save his soul from eternal damnation. The man, the first man to do is he knows how to repent and ask God for his forgiveness. Okay? Forgiveness. It is not an option. No? Hindi po siya optional, mga kapatid ko. It is a command from God that people must do. Okay? To repent in order to be saved. Ngayon, kung uh, kung ito ang kaparaanan para ang tao ay uh, malihis sa tinatawag na pagdurusa, no? Kung nais niya makaiwas sa tinatawag na condemnation, a man is must to realize his sin and he must to obey to the commandment of God that people must to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So this is the commandments of God to the people. So not Acts chapter 17 Reading from verse 30, the times of ignorance God overlooked 
But now, He commands all people everywhere to repent. Praise God. So this is the commandment that must to repent. The time of ignorance in the in Tagalog, ang mga panahon ng kahangalan ay pinalipas na nga ng Diyos. Latapuan ngayon ay pinagutos niya sa mga tao na mga sisi silang lahat sa lahat ng dako. See, here we go. God command to every people around the world or everywhere command all people everywhere to repent. Okay? This is the commandment of God that man need to repent. No? So this is the commandment of God that people must to repent everywhere. Sa lahat ng dako, ang tao po ay kailangan mag-sisi. No? Kung kailangan niya, kung gusto niya magkamit ng buhay na walang hanggan, man need come to repentance. Praise God! So, ang tao po ay kailangan niya magsisi o pagsisiyan ang kanya pong mga nagawang pagkakasala. Tuloy tayo. Is the repentance is necessary? No? Ang pagsisisi ba talaga ay kailangan? If God's command must to obey. No? It Is the repentance is necessary? Yes. Maliban ng tao hindi magsisi ay hindi siya makakapasok sa karian ng langit. It is the repentance is necessary? Yes. It is necessary to every humankind because people have seen and come short of the glory of God. Tuloy tayo. The answer is yes. Without repentance, there is no salvation. No? Kung walang pagsisisi, ay walang kaligtasan. It is clear. No? It is not from myself. It is from the word of God. That the, the repentance no? God, ay kailangan po sa ating pong kaligtasan. No? Ang pagsisisi ay kasama dyan ay kaligtasan. Tuloy tayo. Repentance is a command from God. Any command that we receive from God, we must obey. Ang pagsisisi po ito po yung utos ng Diyos na kailangan tanggapin at sundin no ng isang tao so repentance it is a command from god any command that we receive from god we must obey no so ang pagsisisi ay kailangan natin sundin sapagkat ito ay galing sa diyos No. Kung nais po natin magtamo ng kaligtasan at buhay na walang hanggan, a person is must to repent and accept Jesus Christ in their life. Okay? Sunod, Luke chapter 13, reading from verse 5. No, I tell you, but unless... You repent 
you will all likewise perish. Sinasabi ko nga sa inyo, hindi datapat malibang kayo'y mga agsisi ay mga mamatay kayong lahat sa gayon ding paraan. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon. Kung hindi kayo magsisisi, kayo ay ang sabi, malibang kayo mga agsisi ay mga mamatay kayong lahat sa gayon din paraan. Halimbawa, one of the example, okay, we know the cigarette already. The cigarette, they mentioned there, is smoking is dangerous to your health. And if you don't want to stop smoking, okay, it's possible. You will die. Why? It is because you're destroying the body that God borrow from Him. Okay? Alam mo nga, alam mo na nga, no? Nakalagay doon, smoking is dangerous to your health. Pero what, what are you doing? No? You out of your mind. No? Sorry for that word. But, you understand And you read it already. Smoking is dangerous to your health. So this is, there's a warning that if you smoke, your health is going dangerous. Why we are doing? And we are not following the instruction of God. Because God gave us the free will to choose whatever they want. But of course, There is a consequence. Okay? Mayroon kang no? Mayroon kang pananagutan. No? If you don't want to obey the commandments, it means no? You are breaking the law. Because every law there is must to be followed. No? So, ang sabi niya dito, no? a person, no? ang isang tao, na hindi niya talaga pagsisiyan o hindi niya talaga ihinto yung ginagawa niya, eh, mapapamak talaga siya. ba? Diba? Katulad na lang ng ano, ng alak. Alam naman nating alcohol ang alak. Why we're always drinking that kind of drink? No? Actually, we are destroying uh, the body that God only borrowed from Him. Okay. Baga, sinisira natin actually yung katawan natin na pinahiram lang ng Diyos. No, sa mga sa mga sakit na pananalita lapas tanganan lapas tangan tayo, no? Sapagkat pinahiram na nga tayo ng katawan ng Diyos, no? Sinisira pa natin, no? Sinasaksakan natin kahit anong ano diyan, o ala, uso. No? Lapas tangan ang tawag doon, no? Praise God. So, but God, He never say anything. Because God give us the free will, of course. We have a free will, but of course, you have the consequence. But, praise the Lord. So, every warning, if there's a sign, that drink moderately. Don't drink. Or uh, cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. Anong ginagawa mo? Panay hit-hit mo, panay inom mo. Ngayon, pag nagkasakit ka, no, at wala kang pambayad, ano ngayon? Ngayon, sisisihin mo ang Diyos. Bakit nagka ganito ang buhay ko, Panginoon? No? E samantalang ikaw may kagagawan, ngayon, sisisihin mo pa ang Diyos. Bakit ka nagkaganyan? 
eh, meron na nga doon warning, smoking is dangerous to your health. No? Tapos, ngayon, nagkaroon ka ng lung cancer. Ngayon, sisisihin mo ang Diyos. Dahil nagkaroon ka ng sakit. Isamantalang ikaw ang gumawa nun. Sometimes, no? So, what I'm thinking,